Tony LaFountain, Penfield Town Supervisor, and uh, joining me today is uh, Bob Knauer. Uh, and Bob wears many hats. Uh, the first uh, hat is our Conservation Board. Uh, the second hat is part of our Environmental and Energy Advisory Committee. And then uh, third, Bob is a local business owner uh, that uh, specializes in uh, solar panels and uh, other uh, alternative uh, energy sources. Uh, one of the things that uh, our uh, committee wanted to do uh, was to look for alternate uh, energy sources and different programs that uh, we could have uh, for sustainability across the Penfield. Uh, Bob came to me with the idea that uh, let's do a solar application and we wanted to do it uh, and uh, look to, to start off on a small scale and then kind of scale up from there as appropriate. And uh, so this uh, was a, a great opportunity here, a small pump station. Uh, behind us you'll see it and uh, it looks, uh, looks pretty neat. Uh, it's uh, put together, uh, it's uh, kind of intriguing uh, as you drive by it. Uh, but it just doesn't uh, come out of the box that way and uh, I think it would be helpful to understand what's all entailed sure. uh, with putting a system like this uh, together. Okay, obviously the engineering um, initially where the plants are drawn up, the calculations are made based on the, um, a site survey, looking at what the uh, historic power loads are for um, the electrical load, in this case being the uh, pump station. The uh, key part of it is the two solar panels. Um, each solar panel generates 235 watts. Um, that goes into uh, what's called an inverter that generates AC power from DC power, and that basically then synchronizes uh, with the power grid. So it provides power to the grid if it's not being used by the pump station. Uh, for the construction, um, Resources within the town were used to do the construction 100%. It was completed in December. Without any issues, I think since December, um, it's generated about 150 kilowatt hours. Uh, this pump station requires about 400 kilowatt hours per year. So at this point, it's pretty much on schedule or ahead of schedule as far as uh, production. Outstanding. It is tied into the, the utility uh, grid and uh, so therefore the system will always function uh, and uh, the idea of the solar system uh, is, is that uh, we'll generate uh, at prime times and uh, store or feed back to the grid and uh, Bob actually as I understand it uh, designed it for uh, uh, energy back uh, you know to the town of Penfield so uh, maybe you could spend a sure. little bit of time talking about that Bob. Our genie replaces the um, power meter with an electronic meter that has a couple of readings on it, what has been taken from the grid, and that would be in situations where the solar system wasn't generating enough power for the load. And the second reading, what has been sent to the grid, the energy sent to the grid then can be used by other customers. So this was uh, extremely exciting uh, overall. And uh, the, the, the uh, first uh, early on results uh, is uh, very positive. And uh, we've had uh, a lot of uh, very positive uh, feedback as a result of this. One of the, one of the benefits of this particular system is, is that uh, uh, Bob was very gracious uh, through his company to donate his uh, time and, and engineering expertise uh, to put this together. But he also was able to uh, help ferret out uh, through NYSERDA uh, some grants to help us with that. Uh, yeah, that's correct. We used, for this project, uh, NYSERDA has a solar uh, PV photovoltaic incentive program. This project was partially funded through a NYSERDA solar incentive and also the uh, power inverter, the micro inverter used on this project was donated by Direct Grid and they donated that key piece of equipment to uh, this project. Yeah, which is great. And I think I just like to underscore uh, made in the U.S. Uh, of A, uh, which I right. think is really, uh, really key. Uh, you don't hear that uh, too often uh, today. I'd also uh, like to take an opportunity to thank everyone involved, uh, certainly Bob uh, for his uh, interest and uh, dedication. And uh, Bob, uh, to your company, uh, I just want to say thank you for uh, your willingness to, to share that expertise with the town of Penfield. Uh, your 
a resident of, of the town and certainly committed to uh, helping the town uh, continue to be on the cutting edge uh, with this type of technology. So I want to thank you for that. Certainly all of our uh, town employees that were involved uh, with putting this together under your guidance and making sure that everything was hooked up and uh, connected uh, correctly. So uh, we have just a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, interest from a lot of different sources to make this uh, work and be as viable as possible. So uh, thank you for leading that effort.